This receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal. It's going yeah. beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! This is not the time. Don't. Don't do that! I know, I know. Everything has gone to total shit, but... You gotta live a little. You gotta allow, Hank. No, no, you're right, D. I can't think of any good reason why you wouldn't want your decision-making inhibited right now. Yeah. My thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is, I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. ay ay ay. <laughs> I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Yeah, turn the radio off. Follow that receiver. So what's what could be over here? Could it be the... it's the medicine wheel. There's something right there. It's, it's another... it's a bag. for national D I, I found some sort of supply bag light camping gear some clothes and basics but it was alarmed I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire you're okay it's not a trap or anything yeah I'm fine but there's there's also a set of keys here I don't know why they'd be hidden out here they say Shoshone National Forest cave 452 is that the one in the canyon yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took him? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Who the fuck is in my tower? They couldn't have gone far. I was the tower was in view when they when they when we called. They're not here. How are they not here? I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. I left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I 
don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. What's up? Oh no. Tape of us talking. Oh no. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. D, don't. just don't freak out. Don't. Okay, don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Kid, no, calm, please. You need to stay calm. I don't like this any more than you do. This shit's freaking me out too. How the fuck they get up there? We're, I'm we going to that cave. We have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's going to be in handcuffs. We just stick together. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we got to be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Yeah. This is not cool. Someone's watching us. Making us to be arsonists. And something's going on in that cave. That I'd like to fucking know what's going on. I'd like to fucking know what's going on in that cave. This is not cool. This is not cool by any means. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? No. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course not. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just... They're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. It's yeah, almost right. working. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. In the cave. What's in here? Oh God! Please don't be the old gods. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna be scared. I'm actually kind of scared right now. My heart is fucking racing. What the hell? in here shut up Henry shut up Henry don't let them know you're here the more you talk the more they hear where is this taking me 
I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Where am I? There's foliage in the cave? Where am I? It's like a tower line. Where am I? Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. Well, I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Better than nothing. So don't bitch. Oh. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. What the fuck? I think it was Brian Goodwin. Oh my god, it is. Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. Oh. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. It... Four boards, some rope, 15 rocks. Keep it. Science Horde, 1986. Talking meteors. How oh, ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away. What if I told you that you could use meteors in your atmosphere to talk to people far away? You probably think I'm a liar, but you think, but you would be wrong. Meteors, the alien rocks that come from no, no shit in space, can bounce ham waves off of, oh, and let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now, you're thinking, okay, Brian, this sounds like a movie. Like, Flight of the Navigator, but it's not real. Well, you're wrong. It's real. It's science. It is possible because of meteor scattered communications. My science fair project proves that meteor scattered communication is real. But what is it? M MSC is a radio program prop propagation mode that utilizes the ionized trails of meteors with our atmosphere. Meteors upon their atmospheric entry can create a dense path of ionized particles that the ham radio can operator can use to establish a brief communication path between operators up to 1,500 miles away. Also, that should be down there. Um, I'm going to test this by having a small chat with a friend of mine, or a friend my dad made in the army who lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico, a thousand miles from my house. We were trying to talk at a regular time, but my hypothesis is that that won't work and we will have to wait for a meteor shower so we can establish communications. School folder. Draculords. Really? <laughs> wow. Folder that once held the papers and reports presumably defaced. Dinosaurs, that's for sure. Huh. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Come on. <laughs> There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found it. Brian, Gladius Silva. Chaotic good race, half elf, ranger level four. Male, 29, 5'8", weight, 135, rugged, black eyes, blue-green clan, homeworld, unintelligible nerf stuff. This pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half-elf armor Bundle. 7. What? Oh! 
climbing gear. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Bunch of rocks stacked up, you made a wall and a perimeter. God. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Yeah. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get I get sick to my stomach. I don't blame you for yeah. getting sick to your stomach. Uh, sorry. No to a ranger here. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. Hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, I could be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me? Brian Goodwin by the mail. My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You're probably wondering why I left these here. Well, these are my dad's. I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. Brian. B.S. The reward will be good. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note Beard for a ranger lots. to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Wow, this is some... Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him and... Pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. Dear Mr. Zackler, I'm with my dad in, Z in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. Um, I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. 